What's happening in the Shed podcast? Podcast that brings you everything from music, sports, religion, politics to happy slapping. Myself, Dixie. Daniel's come out of lockdown. He's back. back. Man's back. Fred's not here because he was grafting last night. And we've got a, a, someone I'm excited to have today. Pioneer, one of the Godfathers. Slimzy, what's happening, brother? You know what I mean? What's happening? When, when I have someone like you on, yeah? yeah? It's hard to know where to start. Yeah. But I don't want to do the cheesy thing with you. I don't want to do the... I want to get straight into it. I want to start your introduction into DJing. Yeah. Where did that come about? Well, I was in school. I was about 12 years old. I was buying records off my mate Mega, which is Casper's brother. I remember him from back in the day. Mm. And uh, I broke by school and I was just buying them off him for like four quid a record. Then I was taking them home, putting them on decks, playing them, but not, I didn't have deck. I said like a high player, a think. one player deck. Yeah. And I was trying to, like kept playing it and I thought I'd get another deck so I got another deck and a mixer sort of thing and I was just started mixing like that but it's what was that like a bedroom thing yeah a bedroom thing it? yeah it wasn't like a proper setup though yeah one, one of the decks didn't have a picture on it so I was just mixing DIY yeah how'd you go how'd you go from your bedroom to the to a radio station well I wanted to start a station you know when I was I think I was about 15 that's when we joined up with a few, few of us. What was that? Was that Pressure? We was on Pressure when I was, that was the first station, Jamie B. That was in 94. That was in Bow. Yeah, Jamie B and that. That was with me, Genius, Rico and all them that was on there. Well, that's, that's mad though. See that man, growing up, you might wanted to start a station. Because that's, that's what it was back then. Yeah, that's not your radio station, hobby, is it? it? Like, nah. That's fuck. How did you, so what did you, did you leave Pressure FM or did you? No, really, well, I got booted off Pressure. You got booted off a of Pressure yeah, FM. Yeah, I got booted off Pressure FM. Like you know, because I don't know, because I had a few dub plates. I was doing quite well. I don't think it was internal, but it's just I got booted off it. I was heartbroken, and that's when we started rinse. Me and G started rinse. So rinse started with the was it the same dial? No, no, nah, nah, that was afterwards. So they that that joined up afterwards. How did them boys feel about you going and starting your own? No, they give it to us, really. Yeah? Yeah. So how, how'd you go? Uh, that's when, like, they, you know... No, when we went to first started, it was, it was on 916. Where was that? Where was that located? That was in Roman Road, the three brown blocks. No, the... What's that? The three flats? Yeah, not three flats. Yeah. The Wilma, Ingram, it's called. And what, from the... In Vicky Park. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, we switched on from like there. Who was you reaching from there? What type of audience was We put an arrow out the window, so it was only going one way. <laughs> <laughs> so over the years, it just sounds like really you just learned as you've gone along. Yeah, we didn't know what we was doing. Off. You have to learn to start from the bottom, innit? Yeah. Right. So who was the original? Was, was it you, Genius? It was me, Genius and Beanie was from there, from, from, from the beginning. Uh, is that kind of our pay-as-you-go come about as well? That come about a few, a little bit later. That was with me, Ace, and Blake started that. What was your first ever set with an MC? Because you kind of introduced... I think it was... It was with Meg, someone called Megamath. Gary, his name was. Mm-hmm. He's a Casper's manager now. He was like an MC, and uh, I had Mega as well. He used to come at my ass through sets. And then that's... Then mate Ace, Major Ace, Luke, he's come he's like one of my best mates. He started coming up. He came a bit late, but uh, later, and then he was like doing sets and that and that's when we was doing them on rinse. Was you like one of the first to like introduce and uh, having an MC on the sets? Um, I could say that. I don't know, you never know. I d I don't I don't know. On because then it was jungle, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah. like Jungle was playing, so there's loads of MCs. But like, I was playing like Garage, Slow Down Drum Drum and Bass and Darker Garage for beats and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got a darker sound, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Set. How long were your sets going on for? When you went out? What, DJing you in the club? Yeah, like, no, 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 you're talking about the area right the window and that. I would, How long would people be listening to? There there weren't a lot of listeners really. No. People phoning up from downstairs and stuff and I mean just but it was no, mad, though, that's fucked. So, it was going like towards Fitty Parkway. You know what I mean? It so you going... was only catching that side. Yeah, of the... we only yeah oh, we, we had that window. Yeah. With, I want to get into the park radio right because we're from a different generation. I can't even comprehend. Yeah. Yeah. How do you start a pirate radio station? I want to start from like 
even how do you know what block on pick a place well, on? You have to like find a block, basically. Mm. Certain blocks you can't really get on because it's really bait, or you get you go up there, you might get nicked. So they might call the police. And three flats was a good, good, good yeah. block to get on because once you get up there, you get on top of the roof and you, you can't make the noise. So that was one of the best blocks what we ever used. This must have that. I was just talking about transmitters. Are you always, how the fuck do you know what a transmitter is? Where to get one? Where to? We didn't know at first. We was getting bumped. We got bumped by loads of people. So you had to just kind of try. Everyone yeah, said, "Oh, we can get one. Get your money. They just run off with the money." Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh man! Because I was here, I was looking it up, and it was like was, with other stations and that. Yeah. When you was getting bigger, yeah. was there like a, a, a territorial rivalry kind of thing with other stations? Yeah, us and pressure was like rivals. Do you know what I mean? Because we was playing like we we started off as a jungle station. Is that because you come from there as well? Was like, yeah, we was on there. Yeah, there? yeah. And we was rivals, and then they had other stations like Rude FM, <clears throat> and a few other stations from North London. Were a bit Core of FM as well? Yeah, Core FM was the biggest jungle station. Was there any like shenanigans with other stations? Did when people with a lot of sabotage and that guy. Yeah, there was a lot of things going on. You know, it's like people ripping down aerials and running off and that. And... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking but up. what? How did they know where you was all located and that? Did yeah, you know, know everyone knows. We're in the radio business. Everyone yeah. knows. So with Rinse, it comes Pay As You Go. Pay As You Go started as like, what, a Sunday show? Yeah, three to five. And is that... It's me, Major Ace and Play Good Hero. And that's the, that's the original? Yeah. And how do we get from... That then Max, Dogsy, isn't it? yeah, Dog, Dogsy joined. Well, what year was that, Dogs? About two, four, a one. He was there with Glamour in 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 the, in the hut in the studio, the hut. First, first rinse. Yeah, in Dagenham, in own oh, shed. Yeah. I remember that was back in the day. The only one I know that that was definitely those times because I've just come out of Felton. Oh, is it? I got out of Felton Christmas 1998, and I got on radio in January. Cause you were on Flavor of Femme, weren't you? Yeah. I remember, yeah, I remember. 99 it was. I think it was 99. I think it was 98 or something like that. That was even, that's what I'm saying. We was, we was playing dark tunes from early. How did, how did you come up with a name page ago? Was it from the phones? Uh, do you know what it was? I just used to call it page ago. Like I'd, it was something to do with the phones. I was, my mate used to say the page ago mix. And I thought page ago might actually... So you kind of come up with a name? Well, I was one of the first people, I think, and then me and Plague was talking about it, and then we started Plague Ago, so we just started doing it on a Sunday. It's a role from that. Yeah, uh, yeah, I also have Paco as an MC as well, if you remember him from years ago. Oh, well. The thing that I said to Dogs as well, Plague Ago, there's not, there's, there, if you really want to dig, you can find stuff, and I found stuff, yeah. but there's not, like, even Champagne Dance is on YouTube on some weird little channel yeah. with, like, over half a million views. <laughs> and I'm like, I need to see the proper version of this, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Because I want to talk about, we spoke about that like, coming 13th and in, in the charts and it's hard work because it's hard copies, but everything then would have been a lot harder. Yeah. Like, video-wise and all that, because now, nah, you can ring any Tom, Dick and Harry and yeah, shoot your video. Yeah. Back then, it would have been a bit it was, I think it was about 100 grand's worth then, video. That's how what, that cost. champagne dog? Yeah, well, I, I, I don't know, I can't remember, but... So Solid's one was a lot of money, do you know what I mean? Because like, you got to pay for all the coats, the costumes, the makeup, the comes with a lot of money. 100 grand, bro. Oh, I think it was, I'm not sure. It was, wasn't it? So I'm saying, so you. We had that church, that cathedral place. Yeah. So I'm saying, you got to pay for the rent, you got to pay for the, all the cars, what you rent. That come out of you lot's pocket or nah, the labels? Nah, it's a label. Oh, fuck it then, go yeah, for it. Yeah. Let's make it 200. Make <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> it the bro. budget. But you see the pirate, the pirate radios where you're finding the blocks and that? Yeah. Just to bring it back. Did, was there money in that for you lot? Nah, you, yeah, you, you used to make money. It's just about being big, like making your name off the radio station. Just just for that then? That really yeah, you might get some, some, some subs for that. That just used to cover the transmitters and stuff. Don't really make that much money on that. Fair enough. All the transmitter got uh, knocked you back. Back in the day, it was about three, three fifty, four fifty, four. That's a lot of money back in the day. Just for one week, and that could go in a weekend. What do you mean? That could just get nicked, or that could either get taken down, or it could blow up. That's why they're finding spots so that no one can fucking get it. Yeah. That's why we're coming over on and ab- abseiling down f- off tall dot roofs. And stuff. I can't imagine. I need to. <laughs> <laughs> lift shafts. We're riding the lifts going up all the top. 
in the lift shaft. <laughs> what, on top of the lift Yeah, shop? it was right in it. Oh. Okay, I'm down. There must have been a few people that have come for the pirate scene that have still got fucking lost arms and lost shit like yeah. that from that. Someone, I remember someone died and they fell down in North London once and they fell down a spiral stairs and that's what I heard, but... You never thought, fuck this, yeah, I Yeah, I would just keep doing it, you know what I mean? Back then, when you was coming up, there was all the other stations. Who was someone who was that on par? Well, we was the younger lot, weren't we? Mm. We was all kids then. Like, Call of Fame was a bit our oldest. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I always wanted to go on Call of Fame, but I never got allowed to get on there. But we used to listen to them and... We were, we, were, we were like young, younger kids sort of thing and, you know, we had loads of, it, we had loads of people in there. It was, it was really blown up now. Mm. How important would you say, like, pirate radio is to it's, everything that's happening? It was now? massive. People used to listen to it, like, hit new tunes, go out, they would go and buy a tune for that weekend. Like, how important do you think it is for how the scene is now? Oh, it definitely paved the way. Yeah? Yeah, there's a... Yeah, there's a lot of impact on it. Yeah. You kind of went through like, like jungle, drum and bass, yeah. all these things, and then kind of evolved into grime. Yeah. yeah. But then like you went through all these phases and you kind of stopped the grime. Can you see yourself going into any other phase of music if they can't? And, uh, and then... I play a bit of like that. I sort of play grime and 140. Like, like, trappy kind yeah, of. Yeah, like with breaks. Like grime yeah. with breaks. I make a lot of stuff like that. Um... Yeah, just play new stuff, really. Like, a bit of dubstep. Let's talk about DTI and, like, Ofcom. Yeah, Ofcom. Like, what? They was... they was on you every week. They was on you. If you come on, you couldn't... Like, <laughs> if you put an aerial up, it'd be done during the weekend. Like, when you're saying they're on you, like, what do you mean? Like, they're, they're, they was, they're on the ground, they're yeah, like... They was, they was all trying to, like, you know, trying to, like, find out where you was. They knew where you was. They got, they got, they got the meters, didn't they? You know what I mean? Like, electric meters. Yeah, they got all... In their van, they got all the. All was they the... actually like nicking people, handcuffing you and taking you away? Or no, they weren't nicking you. They would just at first they would go to the block, take your rig, rig and all your aerial, cut your cable up, and then um, <laughs> yeah, they just do that. And then they would, if they wanted you that really badly, they would come to your studio. You must have been like top of that list. We had a, we, <laughs> <laughs> we had a couple of studio little things. Luckily, we described them really, but. Well, one of the studios in your bedroom as well, no? Yeah, it was in his bedroom for about a year, I think. How did your old dear and all that feel about that? They didn't really know at first. They just thought oh, in sets. How did you get away with it, though? I got away with it for a little while. And then I just told them. My dad didn't mind. He just, I mean, I was only young. He didn't want me going out mixing with all different people. So he yeah. just let me have Fair it enough. out there. And then he was having it in Wiley's house at one point as well. Yeah, we had it in Wiley's house, yeah. That was in the pink tall block down Roman. Then the old Bill turn up there, though, no? Yeah, they turned up once. He got taken out on about a bike. He come back with them. And they've come in the room, moved the horn, what makes it link to the roof. And they've touched it like that. And it's gone, shh. And they, uh, uh, they thought, what's this? I said, I see aerial for the radio. Not that radio, but the hot, white hi-fi radio. Yeah. We're doing a t- we, we said we were doing tapes. And, oh, that's right, man. And it's a mad old so game. We, we, we got away with it. Do you know what I mean? It's a mad old game. You, you ain't scared of heights, obviously, nah, then, nah. Right? But do you know, Do you know what's mad for me? Like, you see, you, you lot, you, so you're finding a block. Yeah. You're going to the top of the block. Yeah. I know it sounds... fucking around with the electrics and that. <laughs> yeah. So you see us, man. You see when something new comes out. What do the first thing we do when we can't figure nothing out? We go on Can YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, YouTube yeah. tutorial of how to do it, bro. Tutorial, yeah. You man are just doing it off the back of... We, we learned from when we was kids. That I was I was only 15, you know what I mean? Me, like, me and Genius, we learned when we was 15. Like, we used to just learn, learn the hard way. Not reading books everyone, and shit. I don't, yeah, no, nah, I just... Just, just learning learn and doing it. We just used to go up... We used to go up on the block, just look at the wires, just look on the... <laughs> climb up hatches and that. Because they weren't, like, in them days, there was FBs. You could get them from anywhere. What, the fog key kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, like, little key FB. Yeah, yeah. That must have been, why, is that why do you reckon the off coming out is so on it? Like, the dangerous part of it. You're fucking around with electrics, or do you reckon it's a money thing? Well, they want to do, yeah, because you can transmit on ambulance frequencies. That's, like, oh, right, yeah, below yeah. the dial. That's, like, on 82 or 3 or whatever it is, like, below the FM. So if you go on that... And you sprog on their dull so they can't get to their jobs. Yeah, yeah. And like aeroplanes as well. Yeah. Fucking hell. Over a city airport. 
<laughs> That's another story. How do, how do you how do, how do you end up on their radar like the way that he was though? Because it's kind of like what are they logging in and how are they putting a face to a name and do you know what I mean? They know they the D so like they've got they've got people who work from do you know what I mean? Like I got raided, didn't I? Is that when you got your as well? Yeah. Well, I got that. Well, two thousand. Two thousand four. Oh, three. I can't remember. I had all this stuff in my hair. Oh, man. <laughs> they must have had a fucking field day when they what? passed through there, man. What was your... I remember it clearly. Oh, what did they say to you when they come to your house? There was like... Peter Goodings, open the door. Yeah. Peter Goodings was the main head DTI. So you knew, like, DTI names and that. You knew yeah. it was a yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. There's loads of them. There's yeah, a few yeah. of them, do you know what I mean? I was jumped out the back garden. Like, I couldn't believe it. I ran off down the road. I phoned my mate. I said, oh, there's... There's DTI at the door. I mean, I'll just go back there and... I went back there, there was about three meat wagons there. What the fuck? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They've done this for radio, so all the aerial, all the flyers, all the stuff. How, yeah. long, how long was you down for? What, the radio station? When they, if, they, if they would come for you. I, I was, they were trying to do me for, like, doing electricity. They were trying to make an example of me, basically. Yeah, like doing it for burglary. I remember someone, I think it might have been G, said they were trying to do me for burglary. They, they, they just wanted to lick you because they couldn't. They what it was, but back in the day, you, we put an area up, they cut you off, you come straight back on. They, they it's too much for them, they can't keep going up there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, we come straight back on. So do you have the yeah. same dial? If you get taken down, do you have the same dial still, or do you have to sit up again and no, find all your listeners again? No, 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 you got it's, it's all built in the transmitter, right? It's all in there. So you had a bit, you had a the myth is that you was like the first person to get an Asbog. I've, which ain't true. I, I don't think it is true, is it? No, I don't. I, it, I, I mean, like, there was like 2,000 people before, but you was the first person to have an ASBO of this kind. Yeah, I think. yeah, yeah, what yeah. What was yeah. like the conditions in your ASBO? I couldn't go above four floors. I went and got... That's the maddest ASBO in the world. How does that? How does so if you've got family members that live that's on That's what I'm saying. I couldn't go up there, I'll get nicked. Fuck. <laughs> 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 how does that affect, does that affect your day-to-day? Because I'm just thinking... Oh, it's weird. You I wouldn't, wouldn't do part radio for ages. Do you know what I mean? I couldn't. But how would they know? If you say you found another block, we did find one. I got caught, and luckily I got let off. And after that, I ain't doing that. That's, that's, it's not that's not worth it. Then, yeah. Is that when you had like half a bit of a break? Yeah, I got a bit ill in that. Yeah, so I had a bit of a break for a few years. Could, was it only? How come it was only like you who got the Aswell? Uh, was it was like me setting up? I think them time. They was watching me. They um at Cable Street, we're at studio at Cable Street, you know, Cable yeah, Street, yeah. Street yeah, they, yeah. They they had surveillance on me and put cameras in bins, there's little bins there and I remember seeing photos in the police station of me like, I thought, how can you get that? Like, I mean like <laughs> there's cameras everywhere what they had in from that studio. This is like a fucking big operation for yeah, a radio. It was station. a big thing, it was a big thing. Fucking hell. Luckily, we're not the only people that have been kicked out of Cable Street then, isn't it? <laughs> Rince was there for a bit as well, huh? Yeah, Rince was there for a few years. Did you, did, was that like a technique to move about like that? Or did you, you got just... to move about, or, you know, you can, you can be there for a long. No, or like back then you could, like, you had to move about studios, you know, every couple of months. Before. Oh, that's like the brokers. It's, it's hard to find studios. Them, man. It's hard to find studios all the time. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that... You had all that shit. Why do you think that rinse worked and become what it was? I don't know. Because there was a million of stations, weren't there? Yeah, yeah, there was a lot of people that we we found all all the good people sort of mm. thing. We had like loads of when it started. I mean, loads of good people and yeah, like it's mad how, how you we've come with like play Ace God's Gift and that's Wiley like, Play as you go. Yeah, and you were Blade. You boys, underdogs. You boys um charted as well, didn't you? Yeah. That couldn't have been easy. I think I got some of 13, I think, in the charts. Could you imagine if you would have brought that out, like, with this internet generation? Or would it and there was no internet like, then, was there? Yeah, really? that's what I'm saying. It would have been hard copies, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there was no crazy. internet then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, when Pipe Radio was about, there was no internet. Which is Pipe, that's why Pipe Radio was big. Do you think that's why it died as well? Because the internet, It's dead. Right? I think it's died now, but... I mean, there's still stations on now, isn't there? There must be a couple on. I don't know any, man. Vision FM, I think, are still on. Well, why would you do that, though, now? You've got the internet, ain't you? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> People still love radio, man. Not you, of course, but it's just, just fucking long the, now, the, man. The, mm. 
Is that what made it all fun? Yeah, the, the you get like a buzz. You get a buzz yeah, from yeah. rigging up and being on the chase from from the people trying to get you and that. You know I mean, you get a buzz for it. It must have been some dangerous times, though, no? Yeah, I've had that of stories and that on ropes and stuff like that. <laughs> what? Yeah. You can't just pass that. You got to go back. You did what? You hung out a story on a rope? Three flat souls going down a few floors on a rope. Yeah, abseiling down the yeah. trees, that's in the squat sort of thing, getting yeah, in the squats yeah. and stuff. Yeah, it's, you know, you got oh, rows so of rigs. trying to find, find a spot that's unreachable, kind of. Yeah, so they can't get the rigs. Three flats is a mad one as well, because I've got an aunt that lives at the bottom of three flats. Yeah. And a garden that backs out into three flats. There's yeah. shit people throw out of fucking three flats. Oh, what? Name. Into a garden? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're sitting there like a spaghetti bolognese and a dirty nappy comes down there. You're like, what the fuck, bro? With the rinse as well. The, when you just try to go like legal, yeah. DTI give you hard time because of all the. Uh, I'm not sure about there. that. I was I wasn't about doing it then, sort of thing. Did you see anyone doing what you was doing when you had that break? Uh, there were still stations going on every day. Do you know what I mean? Rinse come off for a little while. You have to wait for the license. I think apparently you have to wait. You can't just get it. You have to wait about eighty months. It takes a long time. It ain't just like overnight. You gotta be off for the air for a little while. That was well. his name. Must be fucking gutted. What's his name? Come to your ass, Peter. What's his name? Peter Goodins. <laughs> he must be fucking fuming now. Bro. Uh, he's got no work done, man, has he? Is there DT? They're still that now, yeah. It's still. I think they're about that. Uh, yeah, they have a lot of an easier job now. About radio stations now. There must be about other things. You know what I mean? It's got to be. Yeah. They do little TVs, didn't they? <laughs> Ofcom. With a dial. When you did you just pass the dial? Did is that the dial that you've had the whole time? We was on 916, then we went to 918. Then we took pressure as old dial, it was 100.3 or 100.4. So you see, if you, when you're changing dials? You can't just change dial because you've got to be three away from each other, like right. three digits away. Like yeah. 100, 100. Kiss was on 100, rinse on 100.3, so that's three. Yeah, but you see, your so your listeners know yeah. you on this number. Yeah. So if you was to change dial, how do you tell all your listeners that you're you can't? You've got to wait for them. To you just got to wait for them to got flick through and then find out. Yeah, who. and plus like oh. setting up radio, like you got to have a good signal. Otherwise, if you haven't got a good signal, you, your listeners sound crap. You can't even pick it up properly. You know what I mean? It's, you got to have a good transmitter and a good aerial. That is. But so would you? Would you? You see how we've grown up? Yeah. We've had none of this. Like, that's that's a lot of fucking about what you're talking about. Yeah, it's a lot like, of With us growing up, like we just go on iTunes, fucking download that, listen to it yeah. all day long. Would you ever? Would you prefer to grow up? How? I liked it. No, I liked it, it then. Is it or you prefer prefer it back then? Yeah, yeah. It's so that's just a mad different perspective. I remember like, going up to a few these blocks. It was used to where and same on these blocks yeah? steer. Yeah, so, what, what, there's what, a block. This stuff. Uh, there's one here. No, this one here. Yeah. What up there one? And what rinse was up there? Nah, pressure was up there. You, you, you like the whopping block, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. What is about that block? That is twenty. What was that? Twenty six eyes, twenty six stories higher. So higher plus a fact the though. roof, plus the beaming. That was the biggest block in the area. That's is that, what, is that the that's thing? when they took pictures of me? Because I see a video of you going up to one, that's, one block. That's that's that, a, that, that was block? it. That's that was whopping. Yeah. Where are you getting the keys from? We just used to get them. We used to get them off like for fire brigade. We used to just buy them off people, like fire brigades or cancel. Some people were dodgy, do you know what I mean? You just used to get them. Oh, man. Some people was in with it, like security, the security cards downstairs, you should borrow you the key for a couple of hours. But you got to pay them, do you know what I mean? Yeah, flat, of course. course flat buyers as well, what is this, people you know, or you rent flats off people to have the actual station. You do have the transmitter at the top. Well, yeah. Flat wise, it would, have to, it would have to be in that block, wouldn't it? No, nah, no, nah, your, oh, studio could be, your studio could be here, and then you could you could put your studio uh, come off there, well, not come off there, but you, your link from there to there. Do you know what I mean? There's a couple of different linking systems. I heard you got very corrupt ephemeral from one time and made a studio out of carbon, didn't you? Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, made a, I made that. Now that's corrupt FM stuff, man. <laughs> that was like, um, no, nah, it was in it was Cable Street. It was like, Big cardboard balls. I just made a big thing out of it and just put shoes yeah, out of it. Yeah, we done that as well. We had a like, studio inside our box inside the studio. We done that as well. So we made a box inside a flat. So it's inside of so I mean it's mad. Well what's that for? Just for sand wires? Yeah, sand quality. I mean um <laughs> soundproof. Were what? you man on any drugs, bro? I'm just asking. <laughs> nah, I don't smoke drugs. Just, 
we're nah, just I on just a creative, on a creative <laughs> fucking moving mad. Man, I'm moving mad. Yeah, there's a lot behind it. A lot of people don't know the history of, you know, like, all setting up and that. That's, That's why I wanted to get through. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot to it. I've got no, I mean, I've got a video camera, I've got a camera. All I need is a charger for it, and there's some footage on there of me on there. Do you know what I mean? Now you've you've kind of gone from getting Asbos to booking. There was nothing in Asbo about bookings, was there? Nah. Nah, that, 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 you know, getting Asbo. Um, I can't, there was, this, I can't, 2002 was, there was a few bookings, do you know what I mean? Mm. There was a few, like, but when I got the Asbo, like, I sort of took a break for a few years as well from radio and stuff. And then, with the bookings, you've been everywhere now, no? Yeah, I've been Anatma, I've been Japan, I've been all over the world, really. I bet Japan was mad. Me and Whitey went out there, it's mad. Fucking hell. For well, £250 pound each. <laughs> <laughs> that was mad. But we wanted to see the world, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, fucking hell, you'd all do it. What's, what's the country that get, you get the best reception? You're like, yeah, that's where uh, they take to it the best. Anatma was different. That, you know, that was that's more... everyone from here, isn't it? Really. Pardon? Anatma's like everyone from here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's like, it, it was good. It, nah, it was good. Even dogs here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said to dogs, I said he's, uh, well, but... he's must have been fucking like celebrities out there. We was. But he's had it for 16 weeks, so... <laughs> <laughs> what's the what's the, your favourite then, without an apple? Because that's like an English I like guy. New York and that. They take to it well. Yeah, New York's good. I've done a few boiler rooms out there. Boiler rooms, that's a that's a, a product of rinse, really, isn't it? Yeah. Well, they, they've done a few bits of them. With the countries as well, with a gram, is there another country because you've been everywhere that you can see doing gram and being like accepted and as good? Russia, as... they're, they're yeah. on the ball. They've oh. got that Moscow. Did you say something about that? Risky was before. telling us about that as well. What was that? Risky was telling us about. Oh, was he? Oh, well. yeah. He was. It's really big in Russia at the moment. Uh, there's a lot of Moscow legend, Dodd Cut, Totten. I would come back from there last year, like, and like, they've. It's. it's, it's they send me videos every week of playing our tunes and they get mad. When's the I first mean, time like you, you went to a set and you was like, yeah, this is it, this is what... Cool, it must have been about 2000, 2001, 2000. That was... Oh, what year was that? I can't remember that one. Barking, Legends in Barking was a good one. So is that your favourite set? Yeah, that's good. That's why I met dogs in that. If you, if you had to, right, if I was going to give it to... I told Daniel I was going to say as well. you got to put on a, a festival or a concert you got to book four acts, right? <laughs> I'll give you two options as well. I'll give it to, like, we can have Dead or Alive, anyone, but because it's you, we'll have a grand four as well. What, four MCs? Yeah, you've got to book them and you make it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, uh, well pick four names. Yeah, yeah. Widen, Dizzy, must be one of them. Uh, I can't really say God's Gift, Plague, Maxwell, there's too many. There's so all the players you go to? Yeah, players you go to, that's what I'm saying. Is there never any chance of the, that kind of comeback? Uh, nah, I don't think that ever happened, to the truth. I just think it's gone now, man. Waste, old, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, them days were... It's so like, like, you're, you're, you're the younger generation, you know, so yeah, like, yeah. You, but you must be listening to tapes from when we was... Yeah, you are just... That's only you can only find them on like YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. With that as well, we we're saying like we're like a bit younger than that. How do you keep your ears like fresh to know what who's I've got people send me tunes every day, sort of thing. You know, like I get tunes from Russia a lot, I get tunes from Ghana as well. They get tunes from all different and they send me tunes keep got keep your eye on the ball. Over here, like, like the new generation, who do you yeah. think like who do you think like yeah, they're gonna be the ones? What, making tunes and stuff? Yeah. As if kids good. Yeah. Trends is good. Ghana, Boylan. Yeah, there's Odd Cut. There's a few people that like, who's making tunes. They won't, I mean, pe- people want to make tunes, but they want to get well known. Mm. So that they want to sing your tunes so you play the tune. When you do a set as well, you have MCs here. Yeah? I don't know if you follow uh, his name's Graham Scene. Graham Mean Saver. He's funny, like, he's always got like MC related, Graham related jokes. Mm. And he's always talking about MCs. Trying to force the wheel up or the reload oh, off, of a, off of a DJ. You don't do that. It's like you have to work for a Yeah, yeah, reload. you got to work for a reload, yeah. Not what? just like that easy. Most people play Rebound X, didn't they? 
Okay. Yeah, it's done, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, gash, yeah, isn't it? Gash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's an easy reload. So what does, that, what does someone have to do to get a reload off of Slimzy? Because <laughs> you don't, you're the only one... I don't read up tunes, do you know what I mean? If you feel hype and that, like, you feel, yeah, just read it up, you know what I mean? Little Will. Oh, so it's got to be a moment thing. Yeah, it's, it's you've got, you've got to feel thing, yeah. quite comfortable, yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? Would really? you? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about, what do you think about Corrupt the Film? You watch Corrupt the yeah, Film? Yeah, I know, I know some of them. What do you think about it? I, I ain't really watched the... You know, I've heard about people talk about it. And it's just, they, I don't know if, if they're real MCs, are they? I don't, know. I don't really know, but they're better than some real MCs. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. sort of fact. But uh, they, they've, they've not nicked it, but they, that's that whole thing, isn't it? Yeah, that's the concept, yeah. Because you got the record label as well. Go on. Oh, Sims Us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What kind of release did you do? It's kind of like a niche, isn't it? You're, you're... When you put out new stuff sort of thing, mm. so, I mean, we've got a band camp where people subscribe... They get two, two, three dubs in with a pack for the that, for the money a month. So they're getting a good deal, really. They're getting tune plus the two dubs, what only they will get, and whoever signed up to it. As you know, that like, this, this is something that I want to put out on my label. We just we, we put decent tunes out. Do you know what I mean? What is it? Do you pick up any uh, songs that you like, or is it like a group of views that, that produce them? Uh, we just pick them up. It's all different. There's, there's loads of people. And it's like one set, one set of people. Uh, people. It might be about 30, 40 people, do you know what I mean? Because I, I see your interview with, is it Plastic? Plastic. Plastician. And you were saying about early days, that you put out a record that weren't, someone else claimed it was Oh, early. yeah, that was uh, Bionic. That was a Capsule EP, Part 1, Simpsons Part 1, 001. And it was Heinz D's tune, yeah. Sad. I got in a bit, well, apparently it was, he, I, I thought it was his tune. I pulled it out, and um, it weren't his tune apparently. So and I, and I had to give all the records back. <laughs> well, it's like sold out, really. Do you know what I mean? But what about um? Did you ever work in Griffin Division, or were you just? I was just it? like the A and R bit. Like I was at A and R for them. For I, people that don't know, it's an A and R. Yeah, like, like a record label. Or... That was like a people that like, who find out tunes what to order. I didn't right. get paid or nothing. I just told them what tunes. So it was like an ear to the yeah, street. Yeah, an ear to the street, yeah. For, okay, no. for people that don't know, like, how important that like, is Rhythm Division? Yeah, it was a major thing. Like, it opened in 93, 94. It first started in that like, drum and bass jungle, then garage. Then it went to grime later on down. Because you know. I've heard you talk about like how, how important it is to keep the vinyl. Yeah, vinyl is a major thing. You've got to keep that going. Why, though? Because we come just... from the get on your phone... What, just Face, what that's happened, all. What, Wavs and MP3s? Not right? even that, like Spotify. Oh, just on your phone, like, yeah. Where's the vinyl? Vinyl's like, like physical, uh, isn't it? It's like, it's like, it's like analogue. It's been there for years, do you know what I mean? You can't just get, get rid of it. Loads of people buy vinyl still. Even yeah. though it, it has gone down a bit. Do you reckon it will just eventually go, though? Every time they say it goes, it comes back. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, all HMV is all pressing up all these new tunes. For 30 quid, have you seen it on there? No, no, I haven't. They're haven't. pressing up all Amy White, um, yeah, all Amy White, oh, I asked these tunes. Uh, Dell, two fake quid, that's dear. And you're only costing about 50 bees a mate. You must have some fucking naughty yeah. record. Yeah, I've got some dub, dub late selection. Yeah. I'll get their prices, no? <laughs> yeah, proper. Don't the vinyl go off though a bit though, no? If you constantly. Yeah, you've you got to get, you know, when you're mixing, it's got to. It's got to mix it. Would you prefer? Well, you must, so you started on. Um, Decks, techniques, and that. I started on Sound Labs. That was before techniques. No, that was same time as techniques, but they were cheaper. Would you prefer CDJs or? Uh, they're easier, aren't they? Really, you can cheat on them. All you got to do is press the sync button. I don't do it, but people just press that button, and it's in beat would have already. So you ain't got. To... Would you feel about that then? People who are cheating, isn't DJs. It? Sometimes it's cheating. So they're not there's DJs, bare, really. But there's bare people that that think they're DJs that all yeah. they're doing is that. That's what I'm saying. There's no but skill with doing DJ it. DJ is the actual skill bit of learning all. That's why with that, with twelve ten, good DJ will show skills. You can't lie about cheating about mixing. You had to get use the pitch control, and there was no right. sync button, so you could get them straight and beat. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And you was like one of the first ones to do that, to play the record around an MC. You could say that. Well, hopefully I was, yeah. Hopefully I, I don't know if it... There was, a, there was going on in the garage scene. Of, it might have been going on, but... 
Do you want to talk about Gary Steve? I don't know. Mine happens to Gary's DJ as well. I've, I've been mixing for about, years. Um, we spoke about earlier. I don't know how true it is about people not being happy about what you was doing. The sound yeah, a few p- the older people didn't like me coming through because I was sort of bringing a dark, darker element to the scene. It wasn't like bring me flowers in the pouring rain. Nah, it wasn't like that. Nah, fucking one of the worst songs ever, bro. Wait, so that so. Go on. I was playing up tunes like Blowfelt, Zinc, and 138 tunes, and then tunes, one, you know what I mean? Like, just instrumentals. I've read somewhere that they was take, coming and taking down your flyers. Yeah, just, just people were just taking down. They're, they're just trying to call meetings and stuff. About, about, you know what I mean? That, like, that, that, was it that? You must have been doing well then for yeah, this Yeah, doing well. That's just what I'm saying. Like, you know, I remember playing I Love You, Dizzy Rascal, in Sidewinder, back in 2000. I remember it was two or three, and I uh, it was so new people weren't didn't know what it was. But you know, two months after it was the biggest tune ever, one of the biggest tunes yeah. in grime. It still is, isn't it? It's... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like sidewind as well had a lot to do with uh, making people big as well. Why do you think that they had the problem though? And how did you feel when you started hearing like they're taking down my flyers and they're, they're having fucking weird know, meetings just, about I me? So I was thinking, I was thinking, I can't be having meetings and that. Is, Bit weird, I'd said a few things, I just, I just kept doing what I was doing. I was watching the Born and Bread episodes, and you were talking about that you used to have the meetings outside yours on the grass or whatever. Outside, yeah, what my house, yeah. Mean. What's yeah. the type of things that you used to have meetings about like, then that early? Just used to talk about things like you know, just like all met up dogs. You come to a couple, yeah, glamour. You used to have like, a little laugh and that, do you know what I mean? Like jokes, it wasn't always a laugh, it was just a case of look. Got this going on, got that going on. Um, this, we need to talk to you after the meeting. Organising yourself. Yeah, it was more you know, about so. organising things. Yeah, we used to have it. We used to have it. We used to be like, I, you know what I'm like, I'll have a few beers, I'll have a few beers, <laughs> and we'll have a big crack of wine, have the laugh, and then we'd all jump on the music after, won't we? Remember? Yeah, it's definitely it's a mix up. Do you pick, when you go do a show, Yeah. do you look at venue or crowd and have a certain set for a certain crowd? Yeah, so you used to have to get booked. For somewhere in South End, you might have to play a bit more commercial. Or now, nah, I don't know about now, nah, but do you know what I mean? Someone phoned me for booking what's over for South End, but you have to play more commercial up there. But if you go to like a darker rave, you just play with a dark one, do you know what I mean? What's, what, was, what was the first rave that you boys set up as Rinse FM? Or? Uh, we we were done one in EQ called Pay to Go, we like a Pay to Go flyer one with like a credit voucher. Oh, yeah. Was it you, DJ, for the Ali Pally? No, it was Target. Right. That was, well, Major Ace and Heart Screw there, weren't they? How come you had so many DJs? Like, as a crew, you had MCs, but you had a lot... You, usually, it's just the one DJ. Or yeah, there was three... There was three... There was Ladies Hit Squad and Pairs Go joined up together, forces. Target, Wiley, Maxwell D was in Ladies Hit Squad. And then me, Ace and Plague joined up with Genius and God's Gift. We both joined up as pay as you go, that was it. That's when we were smashing it. Because it's mad, isn't it, to have three DJs in one? Because produ- you produce as well. Yeah, you? yeah, I don't. Well, yeah, I'm not. I just got, I've got an engineer who does this stuff. I, I don't have too much detail about it. What you do, just tell him how you want Yeah. How you, yeah. Like DJ Khaled type of thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to know what you're doing. Or something. Yeah. So what's the plans for the record label next? So, I'm going to keep going, uh, keep doing the band camp. Simsos recording top bandcam dot com. Just gonna keep going, bringing out new music. Don't let, because you know I mean most music's die out if you just leave it. Mm. So you keep bringing stuff out. Hopefully it keeps going, going moving that forward. Yeah, yeah just keep going. You know what I mean, just keep pushing stuff. I don't you think it's strange how music's moved now. Like, you see, back then people would make a body of art. And you'd mm. listen to it one after the other, like mm. track, track, yeah. track. No, it's not like that. Someone brings a mixtape back, you're picking two tunes that you're only going to listen to. Yeah. And that's God. Because human no is a fuck about that. No yeah. Do you still press dubs and all that? Yeah, we, we do like a dub play run. We do that once a month as well. So you have like a, you have like a niche or core fan base? Yeah, we've got a fan there. base who buy the vinyl. Like, you know, like they might buy a vinyl for like £45. It's never coming out. It's only on that dub play. Because mm. there's... I mean, there's people with have vinyl out there. They pride themselves on it. Yeah. Them. So see, with you, I'm guessing that you, you, you've got a lot of pride in your record, yeah? Yeah. 
and you're like um I'm guessing you like having a one of one yeah kind of thing but then yeah. how, how do you I was like I was like I wouldn't play a tune unless everyone had it I also have it first you know what I mean then how does a record like build in it, popularity someone's got you it playing? me and EZ used to be like two really big DJs like years ago mm. and then like if one of us used to play a tune and people loved it they would go mad for it and it would make you want to tune more if you couldn't get it do you know what I mean? How, do, how does a record build and get more popular? It's only like you, you play, and... You used to play outside one day and on radio, three to five Sundays. I'm forgetting used... that everyone used to record the sets as well. Yeah. Right? So I'm saying there's, there was no really internet, there was no recording then. So people just go mad. Like, you know, now it's all send tunes and emails and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you are Simple. Missing, I guess you prefer it. Would you, would you, do you like some of the things that are easier now or do you prefer everything because it was back then? I liked it back then. All it was is there was no internet. It could have been even bigger but there was... That would have been fucking huge. Yeah. But now like, all the views on YouTube and what's that one? Spotify and stuff. All them yeah. Sorry, mate. Amazon Music. Is there not a way for you yeah. to put all them all them sets on? It's all on SoundCloud. I forgot my SoundCloud page. No, like, but your old school ones. If I yeah, I've got more on it. Side all one. of them? Yeah. Because you don't... You're on iTunes like that? No. So you really like our niche with it. You stick to like band camp and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. that something you like, yeah, think, is that a conscious thing or is that like, yeah, just what do you it. do, bro? Yeah, we just do it. You know, when, if you go on the, on the side cloud, there's, they've got rave sets as well. There's loads of sets on there. I put one up like once a month. How there's, are they recording like whole live shows? Like, sign wide as Tapes. Oh, they was called it off CDs. They were doing it. I don't know how they were doing it. But all my print shows was probably off tape and like it's been put up, even if it's bad quality, it's still been put up. I so, like that. I like the little crackles and the little yeah, 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 like yeah. Dogs he knows. Yeah. Dogs he, I, when I was listening to him, Slim, there's not a man that don't know them them phone numbers, calling out their phone. This man knows phone numbers off the top of his head. We know oh, dogs, dogs, when I'm listening to him. Not me. Oh seven da, 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 I'm like fucking. He knows all the numbers off by heart, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same number. I remember one number. I could... 096 well, 582 seven, 786 or something. 776. Oh, I can't remember. Six, that's it. It ended with 776. 776, yeah. Well, that was a Dagnam Studio one, wasn't it? Yeah. It's, um, Trezor. Yeah, Trezor, yeah. What's your most memorable set, your favourite set that you've ever done? I, I like the Slew show when we was clashing artless like, on air. That was a good one. Did you do a thing where you shouted one of them out on the? Who was it who done the old? Was it Bushkin and someone at the bar? Uh, no, that was a rave. That was the page. I, you know what? I think that was a bit of a setup, but you know. I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean a setup? I don't know. Like uh, like a publicity thing for both years. Yeah, I don't know. There was a promoter. He tried to do like a, a rave. Obviously, like Heartless was. They were good as well. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So like it just it just went off and then Hart's got a bit more. So they come on next. They was fresher. You know what yeah. I mean, so the crowd was more on it. You must have you must have seen some mad t- raves in your time. Yeah, so it I must have been a lot really rougher than it was. Uh, Nottingham, Birmingham was bad. You know what I mean, Nottingham, Birmingham, Wolves, Marcus Garvey sent on all gunshots in the ceiling. Oh mate, hello. What the some fuck? serious stuff going on. So you. You had to fucking walk. I've gone to a rave before. It was so bad. I've left a dub plate on the deck running. I've cut out. <laughs> what do you mean? What was it was that? just going off, right? You know what I mean? Uh, do you, you see when you turn up, you feel like the energy. You think this night is gonna be a good night. We're gonna be on all night. Or yeah. You finish a set. Do you feel like? You just know. Yeah. Would you know if there's bad energy where tonight's kicking off, boys? Yeah, you know. You know. You just know. Loads yeah. of crew should go to sideway and it's just kick yeah. off. Bare people. Go around. Manchester, oh. then like you get Leeds, <laughs> then you get like that was a major event. Do you know what I mean? People yeah. come from everywhere to go to Sidewinder, and it kicked off with all the Birmingham and Manchester crew and London crew. Everyone was jumping over, getting all sticking champagne bottles. Or just, oh, I bet you going. don't miss that part. No, no I can't miss that part. <laughs> <laughs> would you? Would you? Would you think the next sign? The next sign wider, like Grand Originals, isn't it? Uh, there's Grime Originals and there's, what's that one called? Eskimo Dance still going. Es- es- Eskimo's not the same. Es- nah, it's, 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 it's still, it's still, it's still going. Like, I think, I don't know, they're still quite good though. Uh, 
they're, they're still good, but they chuck in like H in the mix and they chuck in like oh, what, the... to do songs and that. Oh, like, okay, yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. Because then when you watch, I never when you watch them, you people playing the fucking horns in the crowd. Yeah. And that comes from where would you say? Would you say that comes from like the dancehall kind of thing, yeah, the sound system yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that why the kind of jungle comes from that, and then that comes from yeah, or you know, like back in the day, ninety four, ninety jungle stuff. Or the horns and that. Who's your favourite? Well, mine is General Levy. Who's your favourite jungle MC? Uh, like Shabbos Gibbardy. There's a couple really. I, oh, I don't know. I like UK Apache as well. That's like, good. Yeah. Oh, but we're asking me, man. <laughs> I fucking don't know any. Steve Rabbit. Oh, Steve Rabbit, he was a legend, right? I mean, yeah. When I was the first of UK Apache, I was like, what the fuck? This can't be the same geezer that. Yeah. So them boys never had a problem with. So the garage people have half a problem, but them boys never had a problem with anything. Yeah, it happened in the drum and bass and jungle scene. Do you know what I mean? When it evaporated, there was people who didn't want to play the dark stuff. And it happens, it happens in every scene. Do you know what I mean? Because you went through them phases, but you never had a funky ass stage, did you? No. no. Why was that? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't stay funky. No, not, it's too light. It's all right. It was not bad. It was all right, but I don't know. If, I don't know. It's, it's all right. When's your show for people that don't know? You still got the show? Uh, yeah, show? I'm on Rinse every other Sunday, five to seven. And is that, that's with MCs? Yeah, I do show with, second hour MC, first hour vocals, or just like grime. Then I've got second hour with MCs. They're always MCs. I do just it's red all shows. Do you know what I mean? What's next record label wise? Uh, we've got some, we've got we've got a dub plate coming out soon next week. I, I'm not sure that's a, it's a Ghana one and it's a an Asifid one. And that, that's where we're going with yeah, new bookings, new yeah bookings. I think that 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 should start coming back in October. Hopefully. When did when you had your break? When did the booking start pick up again? Did you have to? I come back in 2014, didn't I? You got that far. I took about ten years off. <laughs> That's what I mean. Because you become like a bit of a fucking like a myth. You do it. People couldn't show. see me. They didn't know what happened. Do you know what I mean? People think. Do you think that's what? Do you think that worked to your favour? Oh, it could have been. No, like like it's like with a, like a, a Prince Michael Jackson type thing. Yeah. They, don't, they don't give you everything. You don't see everything. Yeah, you don't know what's going on. Yeah. Slimzy's here. He comes and then he's gone. Kind it's of thing. Mad. You know what it's I mean? Mad, man. That's what happened quite a ramp for. Because people say, "Where did you go?" And all of a sudden you're back out of there. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, just, like just picked up like, where you left off. Like, yeah. Sort of you don't know what you're doing. I, I, yeah, when, I, when I did come back in 2014, I wasn't. I was DJing, but I wasn't. Oh, I was because you're used to CD decks and that. Yeah. I, mean, I was used to dubs and that. But you just got to keep sharp as well. Yeah, I was. Like uh, after a couple of years, I was alright. I mean, I always just think though. See, when you was like the promotion, our promotion wise now, what we got like the Instagram, yeah, the sponsorships you can pay for and that, but you lot didn't have none of That's that. That's what I'm saying. Well, it could have been sold. If you lot had that, you lot could have. Yeah, he's a fit that. That's what, what I'm like saying. Like, Filling that gas off the of flyers, isn't it? Yeah. Fuck it, no. Could have been massive. Like, wouldn't it was about? Are you what? Are you on there now? Like promoting on yeah. your website, on yeah. Instagrams and all that. Yeah, I've got my shit now. D yeah. underscore Slimzy. I got. Yeah. Got a few thousand. So you see, like that, in in comparison to that, like you see how you've moved on from. Promotion wise, you know you're not gonna get a flyer and stick it up on a fucking billboard no more. I don't say. You see how you was promoting yeah. your other stuff, your yeah. other shows like with flyers or just. I just used to go room the region and stick them on the wall. <laughs> what I'm saying, you wouldn't do that now though. Nah, because you've moved do on. on Instagram. Like, you've moved on now. It's Instagram. It's yeah. easier. Yeah, so yeah. So why is it? How come you still like the old way of doing stuff and not the easy way of doing stuff? Now? It would be good if Instagram was good back then. That like, you know, like. They haven't been bigger, I mean, but yeah, no, of hundred percent, man, hundred percent. The way that the way the promotion is now, it's just insane, bro. It's yeah, all the views all around the world. Do you know what I mean? Be anyone, and, and this, this is the thing: you're you're as quick as you come up, the quicker you're gone. Yeah, that's true. And with it back then, it wasn't like that because it was just that's all you had. Yeah, and it, and it meant something more to being coming up and then going or whatever. It meant more. Work. Yeah, you want it. Yeah. You didn't do it for the money either. You've right. done it for the love. I don't think you can do something like what you've done if you're in it for money. I don't think. Yeah. I think you've got to want it. You've got to want it. That's what I'm it. saying. You've got to want it. You've got to hungry for it. That's what kills now as well. Yeah, because, the because everything's so accessible. 
the YouTube. You can go out and buy a setup for whatever. Yeah. You can get. You don't. You Cheap, actually, man, yeah. Your video is not going to be hundred grand. It's going to be hundred pound. Yeah. That means that you have all this shit now. Mm. Of people just. Well, you should have a goal, but people just fucking doing it because it's accessible, mm. not doing it because. That's what you want to mm. do, you know. Mm. Who's actually on your label? Shout them out quickly. Uh, there's Ghana as if kid. There's mystery. Got trends. Got boiling. But we've got a few. My mind's going blank while I'm talking to you. Because that scene, that's a very. I don't know many of them. Yeah, really. it's a bit. It's a proper specific scene. Yeah, 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 insight, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah. I think we'll wrap it up there. Cool. Thanks for coming up, bro. Pleasure. Always pleasure. Love, bro. Yeah.